I'm Bianca Baker. And I'm Kaylee. Hello, good morning. I'm Jared, a fifth grader here at King's Cross Education Action Zone. How's the video conference going? Hi Bianca and Kaylee, I'm Kirsty. The video conference is very interesting. This is our second design meeting and Mr Logan from NASA Langley Research Centre is helping us with the challenge. Right now we are reviewing our test results. Why don't you two join us? Looking at the test data, it looks like you've made some great improvements. Does anybody have any problems that I can help you with? Mr Logan, this is Kirsty. The wheels on our car just seem to spin and the car doesn't go very far. This is where the redesign process can really help improve your model. Think about redesigning your car so that the wheels get better traction. You might try testing different materials for your wheels. You have to balance the amount of friction you get with the weight you add to your car. Sounds like it's time for redesign. Exactly. Let me know what you come up with. Until next week, be sure to keep track of all your data and your trial notes. What if we added balloons to the wheels? Would it add too much weight? I don't think so. Actually, I think rubber bands might just work. Sounds like a cool project, but what exactly is a mousetrap car? It is a challenge to build a car using a mousetrap as the only form of propulsion. Our designs will be judged on the distance the car travels. How did you begin? We began by following the design process. Our teachers gave us a mousetrap car kit like this one and some other materials to work with. We looked over materials and brainstormed ideas. That's right. We decided we needed to do some research on energy, work, force and simple machines. Once we felt that our designs was going to work, we started building the model. But we had a problem when our axles wouldn't turn. We had trouble with our axles too. After more research, we learned that the axle needed sanding. This helped reduce the amount of friction so that it could spin more easily. What are you doing now? We have been testing our cars to see how far they would go. The first trial didn't go very well. The car only went one metre. Our second and third trials weren't much better. We did have a few trials that went over two metres. After ten trials, we averaged 1.4 metres. We are hoping that the rubber bands will help. Testing is really important in the design process. Yes, it is. By conducting tests, we can see the problem before race day. Of course, the trials that were over two metres were done at home on carpet. That's it, the carpet added friction. In that case, the rubber band should create enough friction to increase the distance. Please excuse us, but we have to get to work right away. Thanks for all the information and good luck in your competition. Be sure to post your results on the SciFiles Kids Club website. We want to know how it turns out. We will. Bye from London. Bye. Bye.